Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week we are reacting to the brand new epic rap battles of history with Ragnar Lodbrok versus Richard the Lionheart. Uh, historical figures that I know nothing about, so this will be interesting. Uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, I am a comedy musician, so I react to comedy music videos from a comedy musician's perspective. Uh, at least I try to. Sometimes it's just me laughing at the video. Uh, but I, I occasionally try to give insight on uh, why they made choices that they made, or uh, what I would have done in that situation. Not really as far as in describing jokes, because humor is subjective, but yeah, at least in the talking about the construction of the video and things of that nature. Uh, also, uh, if you like these type of videos, because I do this kind of thing just about every week in a variety of different comedy songs that I react to, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing, or all of those. And even if you really want to help out the channel and also help me make new music, you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian, where you get to see these videos early, get to hear new music from me whenever I release it, and a bunch of all sorts of cool extra things there as well. With all of that out of the way, let us dive in to the new ERB. I'm excited for this, and I'm also a little worried because I know nothing, absolutely nothing, about who Ragnar Lodbrok or Richard the Lionheart are. Richard the Lionheart, I think, is Richard the First, uh, but that is the extent of my knowledge, and Ragnar Lodbrok is a Viking. So there's that. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's jump in. Richard the Lion! Richard! Pitful of Snakes seems like that would be important if I had any knowledge of who these people were. <laughs> it's like, hey, let me point out the thing that sounds like it's a purposeful bar. Like, I'm sure that that whole intro is very, I like, I love the beat on this. And obviously Nice Peter playing uh, Richard the Lionheart and uh, Epic Lloyd playing Ragnar. But uh, this is going to be an interesting reaction. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that repeatedly because I have lost my mind. Uh, yeah, so that's a that's a fun screen to pause on, by the way. I'm the number one dick. All right, cool. Good for you. Richard the first from the third crusade that only leaves room for you in second place. The chivalrous swinger of the sword and mace, and I kill you when I spit like a pit full of snakes. I'm the number one. Dick. It's a very typical nice Peter flow on uh, on these bars. <laughs> Number one dick rising up to make you feel small. My battery ram slams through your shield wall. I'll announce at the next of your thing that I'm chopping through your family like boneless wings. Of course you got avenged by a kid with no bones. Your own story ended worse than Game of Thrones. Kid with no bones, like literally know nothing about them. Literally nothing. This is. This is already a disaster for me. Cool! <laughs> I'm sorry. For everyone watching, I'm sorry. Oh, I'll announce at the next of your thing that I'm chopping through your family like boneless wings. Of course you got avenged by a kid with no bones. Your own story ended worse than Game of Thrones. Your son killed your ex, your ex killed your wife. I'm the Lion King, man, but that's a messed up circle of life. Alright, so the Lion King bar was interesting. Uh... Reacting to this from from the comedy perspective, uh, he's got decent burns. He's got some decent bars, but not knowing anything about each other, they don't seem to sting as hard 
as if I knew the backstory on them. Which is how any battle really goes, honestly. You kind of have to know that knowledge a little bit for those hits to connect. Um, that said, I'm sure there are people who absolutely love this battle. Historians, uh, certainly. Um, there are hundreds of history teachers and historical fans reacting to ERB stuff, and there's tons of, of rappers reacting to ERB stuff, so they pick them apart in a little different manner than this particular thing, but this, as far as production, this is the same kind of stuff we see with ERB, which is to say, top-notch stuff. Their green screen work, and having characters swing in, uh, and multiples of the same character on there is, is always nice, and then ha also having the person you're battling react to your bars is an important thing to showcase, and I always think they've always done that well. Uh, the tattoos on Lloyd's head, though, that's impressive. You got avenged by a kid with no bones. Your own story ended worse than Game of Thrones. Your son killed your ex, your ex killed your wife. I'm the Lion King, man, but that's a messed up circle of life. half ass head tats can't be condoned. It's like you raided the face of Post Malone. <laughs> okay, that was a really good bar. <laughs> that was, all right. Yeah, put it in a little pop culture stuff so I can understand the references. The Game of Thrones thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw throw some throw some stuff that I'll get. Throw a bone to people who don't know who the hell you are. Your son killed your ex, your ex killed your wife. I'm the Lion King, man, but that's a messed up circle of life. And and going back to Son killed your ex, your ex killed your wife. That's uh that's I didn't know that, and that sucks. I have my head tats can't be it's like you raided the face of Post Malone. I'm scared of no foe. I'm back by the Trinity. I'll conquer you on my day off like you were Sicily. I will say that transition. There's he's got he's got the shield behind him, and then the like he drops out of frame, and the camera pulls back, and he's holding that shield. That was solid. It's like you raided the face of Post Malone. Yeah, that shot right there, where like it came it came together in the cross and pulls back and it's just shield. That's that was solid. No problem. I'm back by the Trinity. I'll conquer you on my day off like you were Sicily. I only assume that Richard the Lionheart conquered Sicily. Again, history and me, uh, unless it's pop culture stuff. That's the thing. My brain is full of useless trivia as far as like comic books and video games and movies and TV shows and Pointless, unimportant shit. Uh, and that's taken up all the space up here. You know, other than the amount of hair occasionally. But uh, all, all, of, all of the information that's in my skull is comedy music and nerdcore and miscellaneous geeky pop culture stuff. Uh, actual history and important facts and math. It's not in there, man. I do like this verse. It's like the face of Post Malone. I'm scared of no foe. I'm back by the Trinity. I'll conquer you on my day off like you were Sicily. Threatening to conquer Ragnar is bold. For a king who got whacked by a ten-year-old. I'll sacrifice him to Odin while drinking horns of me. Good thing you hold the red cross. Cause it's who you're going to need. <laughs> Alright. That's a good opening. You built your army by raising English taxes. I raised my army taxing English asses with my axes. And who are you to talk about the circle of life? Your old lady can't feel the love on any night. <laughs> Whoa. Got some Elton John bars in there. That's interesting. <laughs> you built your army by raising English taxes. I raised my army taxing English asses with my axes. And who are you to talk about the circle of life? Your old lady can't feel the love on any night. <laughs> I'm sure that was important. It's gonna be a lot of that today. You to talk about the circle of life. Your old lady can't feel the love on any night. <laughs> Your only son was illegitimate. You out of the side. Twist your spine like the end of the Plantagenet line. I'm just a warrior. I'm not the linguist. But I think the king of England should probably speak English. <laughs> Okay, okay, decent, decent rebuttals here. You took 
conquering Java like a piece of cake, but never attacked Jerusalem for Christ's sake. Saw the Holy Land, but could never. Uh, oh, that's a that's a good line. Uh, uh. Java like a piece of cake, but never attacked Jerusalem for Christ's sake. Jerusalem for Christ's sake. Uh, solid double there. That's a solid double there. Saw the Holy Land, but couldn't go all the way. We should call it the Crusade of Richard the First Base. Sail back ah. north with your barbarian goon. Because I'm tearing down your legacy. Leaving it in ruins. Your real self next. Oh, leaving it in ruins. That's a good flip, too. That's a good flip, because some people pronounce ruins as runes. They, they don't hit the I, and it's, you know, a regional dialect pronunciation. But also leaving it in runes, like a lot of Viking script kind of looks like runes and they've been used as runes in, in certain uh, things and some people co-opt the, the runic writing for other things because they're assholes uh, but uh, and you know other people you know respect the heritage uh, but uh, yeah uh, having it be the flip on ruins and runes and the pronunciation being the flip that's that's solid I like that we couldn't go all the way. We should call it the Crusade of Richard the First Base. Sail back north with your barbarian goon. Because I'm tearing down your legacy. Leaving it in ruins. Your real self next to your legend disappoints. I see you shaking in your shaggy little pants like sorry. <laughs> like wow. Like gee scoob. Like I'm not a Viking. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anytime a shaggy reference comes up, I have to reach back and pull the impression out. Uh. That was that was pretty good. Shaking in your shaggy pants, uh, yeah, that's solid stuff. Back north with your barbarian goon, because I'm tearing down your legacy, leaving it in ruins. Your real self next to your legend disappoints. I see you shaking in your shaggy little pants like soy. Ha! Who invented the royal me? We. Who's the predominantly fictional MC? Lee. You're a wannabe, <laughs> mon ami. Kneel down and honor me. Richard coming through with the end like Sean Connery. The nice that. That that series of bars was really nice. Uh, I uh, like I thought Richard the Lionheart. Uh, oh shit, that just dawned on me. Okay, uh, Richard the Lionheart was French. Uh, was also King Richard in the Robin Hood legend, and was played by Sean Connery in. Uh, <laughs> in in uh, Robin Hood, uh, Prince of Thieves, and then played by Patrick Stewart in Robin Hood Men in Tights, who also played a Frenchman, Jean Luc Picard. I uh, see again. It's the pop culture references that I get, and I'm a walking IMDb. It stands for Ian Movie Database, according to my wife, and. Uh, yeah, that's that's my only connection to knowing who the hell Richard the Lionheart is. That is depressingly sad. <laughs> We're having fun. Who invented the royal me? We. Who's the predominantly fictional MC? Lee. You're good. a wannabe, monami. Kneel down and honor me. Richard coming through with the end like Sean Connery. Because he came through at the end. It was a cameo. Can Sean Connery comes in like completely unannounced as as King Richard. And it was almost kind of like an homage to a Connery movie called Robin and Marion. I think that's what the movie is called. Uh, and having him, him play that. So, yeah, he comes in at the end of the movie, like, with a quick cameo. Uh, which is why they got Patrick Stewart to do it in uh, Men in Tights. I'm sorry, I, I, I enjoy that bar. It's, it's fun for me. Be more than me. Kneel down and honor me. Richard coming through with the end like Sean Connery. The devil coronated blood and gore gourmet. You might have the axe, but I'll make her body spray. Playing hot to silver came and I struck like a cobra. If I wanted to... You might have the axe, but I make a body spray. It's a good flip. That's a good flip. Because axe body spray, you know, for people who don't know what deodorant is. Anyway. Richard coming through with the end like Sean Connery. The devil coronated blood and gore gourmet. You might have the axe, but I'll make her body spray. Playing hot to silver came and I struck like a cobra. If I wanted to fight loser Vikings, I'd go to Minnesota. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. That, 
All right, that's good. That's good. You want to fight me? Take off the tin shirt. I'll be waiting in my birthday suit. Going berserk. Ding, ding, dong. Morning bells warn about me at the break of dawn. And I'm putting you to sleep like your brother John. Living monks and chunks on Northumbrian lawns. Is I'm the old father's spawn. Some Viking bars there, man. That And the flow on that, switching up the style, was uh, very solid. And then just like the arcing... In the in the actual video, just the, the arcing anger of his like doubles coming through. Yeah, that's good stuff. Swimming axes all around. Stopping it there because it's a bunch of ad at the end. I uh, I didn't watch this beforehand, but I scrolled through because it had a thing at the opening where like it's sponsored by this, and uh, I figured they were doing an ad read at the end, so I I ran the bar along and saw that there was a whole chunk of a whole minute left in the video, and it's just an ad read with uh, their versions of Teddy and uh, other characters. So, um, but yeah, that was uh, the new ERB. Uh, out of those, I think, I think Ragnar won. I think he had the better burns, and he definitely had the better flow. Not saying that Nice Peter doesn't have a good flow, uh, but it was, uh, I kind of wish, uh, Nice Peter maybe had tried to affect a, a, a French accent, uh, for, for Richard. Was he French? I think he was, because he does drop Mon Ami, and there's also the bar about, you know, if, if you're the king of England, you should probably speak English. Um, so I don't know if he was French. I think he was. Maybe? Yes? I, I'm sure. I am absolutely positive that the comments on this video are going to tear me asunder. They're going to rip me to shreds. And I'm fine with that. It's okay. It's going to happen. Um, be kind. You know, we're, we're all together on the internet. It's Just be nice. That is actually inviting probably not nice things, so forget I said that. Whatever, just don't be too much of a dick, is all I'm asking. Um, <laughs> so that's that. Uh, but yeah, I think Ragnar definitely won. He had the better burns. He had the better bars. Uh, though, you know, Richard the Lionheart did get some good digs in. So uh, it, it wasn't completely one-sided, but uh, it also wasn't really a fair fight either. But... That's it for that video. If you like these, again, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll be back next week, probably, uh, with a new Stupendium video. I'm pretty sure that uh, his next song will be coming out the week this song, this video drops, so I'll be reacting to that one next week. And then, of course, more things to come. Uh, if you're on the Patreon, the poll will be going back up on Patreon soon uh, to talk about what next... Uh, stupendium song I'll be reacting to and also maybe what we may do coming up because we just hit 8,000 subscribers thank you all very much for subscribing and uh, might possibly do a live stream for 10,000 so you know if you want to do a live stream of maybe me playing Bendy and the Ink Machine uh, so that I can react to stupendium's Bendy songs uh, maybe subscribe that'd be a cool thing anyway uh We'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, this was fun. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Was I ever in the Brotherhood at any point in time? Honestly, uh, if you ask me, it wasn't in this timeline. I checked through my back issues, and I'm not going to defend this, but it happened in a story penned by Brian Michael Bendis. Who? Let's end this line of questions. Yes, I'm, I'm here to kill you. you. Ah! And once it's done, I'm the one you need to send the bill to. I'm the mouthy mercenary.